Greetings, pokey people. Ichigo90 here. Welcome to run number three of my ghost only Pokemon Nuzlocke. So I've all taken the liberty of skipping ahead to the point where I pick Fue Coco as my starter. Because as much as I love that scene of Koridon flying around and just being a big flying guy. Let, let, I just want to get to the game. I also turned off autosave. So if we do go to run number four, which hopefully we don't, then we'll just start right back here. Now it has come to my attention that there were some audio issues with episode attempt number one. So if you somehow missed that, I, I, I'm just going to explain it when we get to the stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still a little flustered about that. You also couldn't see my model in the first two episodes, attempts, whatever you want to call them. So I believe I've made a workaround for that. Uh, it, this, this, this one should be fine. Let's just do the thing with the thing. Let's go ahead and we will follow female Goku down to the beach yet again. Potion. Got a Pokeball. Hello, Nimona. Give me that glove. That's the only cool thing about you. I trust you remember that Miss Ichigo is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Dude, why do you keep saying that? I have played Pokemon now for 20 years. I am not inexperienced at all. I mean, I might not be that good at it competitively, but I, I'm not inexperienced. I know the basic stuff. <laughs> Dude, why is my phone just... Anyway, throw fire at the grass cat. Fire is strong against grass. Yes, I know that. So has everyone who's been playing since Pokemon Yellow was new. Okay, we defeated the Grass Cat. We're level 6. So I think what I'm going to do this time is raise Pepper the 3rd up to level 13. Cortando Jim is my first level cap. That's level 15. I should be okay raising Pepper the third to thirteen for the Nimona battle outside Mesagoza. 
all of his smartphone stuff, Pokédex app, which she installed by tapping the back of the phone case somehow. The wonder of meeting new Pokemon never changes. Yeah, that's true. Goodbye, little Pompey Duck. I'll see you when you're a big, weird-looking dancer thing. Do you think uh, Quackwaval's hidden ability when it eventually gets one is going to be Dancer? I think that would actually be a really cool thing that they do for it. And I mean, its whole thing is doing weird, bizarre dances, you know? What is going on with the recording. Why is it... Because it's running smooth on my TV, but for some reason, the recording is being weird. I guess that's just the thing in OBS. And not much I can do about that. Huh. Well, anyway, let's move on with this. We got the sandwich from Mom. Got five potions. Now let's go fight a Lechonk. You do not need to teach me how to catch Pokemon, Nimona. My first game was yellow. I, I, I've gotten the catching Pokemon thing pretty much down. Like, I'm good. We can skip this part. Uh, now we gotta watch this. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about on the path, in the grass, in the water, in the sky. In your back pocket, I know. Ay, ay, ay. I really need Pepper the Third to beat up that Palmy at Mesa Goza, because I am getting tired of playing through this section of the game. It just takes so long. Battle, Ember, Tail Whip, that's fine. That's the best thing it could have done. Ember again. Goodbye, Lechonk. If you show up being pink next time, I might actually catch you. And now we get 10 more Pokeballs. And we've got to go up to the lighthouse. But we're going to have to do that pointless thing with the cave and Coridon first. Come on, little buddy. Let's go pick up some items. You might get a mark. Beat up the tarantula. Oh yeah, I need to put Ember up front.
That was 9 XP. Let's see, check summary. Oh, it's the Y button. There we go. Got Ember up front. Auto battle these guys. And you probably get more XP doing the regular battles, but like the auto battle is just such a nice feature. Okay. Pick up the items. And one more. Boom. Goodbye, Scatterbug. Goodbye, other Scatterbug. Another Lechonk. That did less than I thought it would. We're going to keep using Ember anyway. Ember again. There we go. Guys, sooner or later I'm going to get this recording thing done. I, I'm going to get it running smoothly, is what I'm trying to... Eventually I'm going to figure out how to talk. You know, I've only been speaking English my entire life. I haven't figured it out yet. Apparently. Little thready spider guy. Start the Coridon stuff because we're going to need to be a little further into the game before we really start getting good XP for leveling up. Because we've got to kill that freaking Pommy, dude. It would be nice if we could outspeed it, but I'm pretty sure Palmy is just too fast for us to really have a chance of outspeeding without going over our level cap. Let's take out these Fletchlings. 4 XP each. That's not the best. Well, that one was seven. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All of this. With this cutscene that's not being skipped on the skip cutscene setting. huge cliff that we just fall down and survive because of our phone. I get this game is made for kids, but like, you couldn't come up with a better way to survive that fall without taking fall damage than you're holding onto your phone. Right. If you're watching this and you're a kid, holding on to your phone will not help you survive that fall. 
It, it, it just doesn't work like that. Now we gotta give the scary dinosaur thing a sandwich. Okay. I'll hurry up and eat the sandwich and transform so that we can get on with it. Gom. Nom. Gom. Nom. Agias. Now, instead of just climbing up the cliff with us, there we gotta go through the cave for some reason. And you know, then it skips the cutscene with the transformation, even though we had to go through all that other stuff. Dude, the, the, the skip cutscene setting is weird. Like, I, I don't fully understand what it's doing. But I do understand that there's an item right there and I want it. What do you want, Nimona? I'm managing. No, no thanks to you. Does it want you to follow? I don't know, maybe. The real question is, how did those Houndor get on the other side of that rock? We're gonna take out the young goose. We collected a Pokeball. We're gonna take out this other young goose. We collected a potion. There's a Diglett there. We're going to beat it up. Collect the Diglett dirt. That's kind of weird. Now here's another cutscene that's not being skipped, even though we selected the skip cutscene option. That's nice, but there's an item over here. Okay, revive collected, let's go. This is so slow. Let's get a move on, Karidon. Yep, that's a houndoom. Doom! 
Yeah, let, let's just send out the Fuecoco we just got against a Houndoom. That's a really smart move. Absolutely nothing could go wrong by doing that. What did I just say? I don't know what I just said. Anyway, another cutscene that's not being skipped, even though I have skip cutscene turned on. We've all seen this before, we know how it ends, we know what's going to happen. There is such a delay between my TV and what's getting recorded on OBS. <laughs> I, I hope the audio turns out okay. <laughs> I'm still new at this. I don't... I've made, like, three videos so far using this video capture card. I, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. think it's okay. I don't know. You were perfectly in sync taking on that hound. What did I do besides stand there and look terrified, Nimona? But, like, tell me what I did that you think we were perfectly in sync. Uh, let's just get to the lighthouse. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. But first, I'm going to beat up this scatterbug. That was 8 EXP. <sighs> now we gotta do all this Arvin nonsense. I love how the dialogue options they give you change absolutely nothing. It's like you have two options there, and no matter which one you select, Nimona says the same thing. Like, why? What, what's even the point of giving me the options if the outcome is going to be the same either way? And why does Arvin slap his face when he challenges you to a battle? My coffee is cold. I made a phone call before I started recording and left my coffee sitting out and now it's cold. Anyway, throw another ember at the squirrel. And 
now we beat Narvin. Level 9. Cool. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Yeah, that, that'll happen when you play like... 5 million Pokemon games. You'll, you'll get kind of good at beating up NPCs. All right. We got Karion's Pokeball. Arvin's being kind of squirrely about how he got it. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get on with things. Can we... Why is this cutscene not skippable? God, I really hope level 13 is the one where we beat Nimona. That's Mesagoza. Huge building, yeah. But all that schoolwork. Don't think of it as schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. But Nimona, what if I want to do something with Pokemon other than battle them? Like, what if I want to start a Pokemon dog show? How is learning about Pokemon battling going to help with that? Let's make it to Los Platos. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's actually start heading towards the school that you told Clavel you would be taking me to. Caught the wild hop at off guard. Burnt the wild hop it to a crisp. Item on the ground, Chesto Berry. Come on. Hey, let's battle. That's a good idea, small child. Let's do that. Youngster Elian. Elian? How do you say that name? Anyway, bye-bye, Tarantula. Thanks for the 27 XP. I love how the, it's like, you, oh, your Pokemon are strong, and I have, like, one Pokemon. It's 11 hours. Bunch of water types. Let's not fight them. Got an Oranberry. Got an Awakening. That's... Where did the Awakening come from? Why did you throw that at the Wooper instead of the direction I was facing. Anyway, Ember should be fine still. Oh, we caught it off guard. That's nice. Now, how much is that worth? Like 200 XP? Oh, 37. Collect the item. It's the Pokeball. Let's go.
go collect this item over here. It's another Pokeball. And one more item up here. That's a third Pokeball. Dude, we're getting so many Pokeballs. Hello, Sapphire. I wish I could catch you, but I can only use ghosts. Let's just beat up all of these Pokemon. Cool, level 10. Hello, child. You just got your Pokemon healed up? Well, cool. I'm going to injure them again. Sent out Lechonk. Oh, you only have the one Pokemon? Okay. I'm still going to throw some fire at it. Thanks for the 30 XP. I lost even though my Pokemon had full HP. Uh, yeah, that'll happen. Fido was 20 XP. We're getting there. This here's a Pokemon Center. Thanks, I was really confused about the big red building with the Pokeball logo and the nurse behind the counter. I, I thought maybe I was at a supermarket. Anyway... I don't care about any of this. I know it already. See, let's see if there's any good TMs we can make here. Mud slap, not helpful. Protect, not super helpful. Uh, we don't really have anything that we can actually use. Disarming voice? Wait, Coco can learn disarming voice? Anyway, none of those are better than what we have, so let's just move on. Antidote. Let's beat up this flock of fledgling. The XP bar is moving. That's good. Trying to get to level 13. A tarantula. Okay, now what was that? 33. Level 11, nice. Let's beat up this student. Bounce sweets. Ember the bounce sweets. Uh, 
Okay. <coughs> 22. Hmm. Random wild hop it. How much do you give me then? Thirty six. I get more from the wild Pokemon than the trainer Pokemon. Tarantula, kind of ember here, because it's super effective, and I want to get to level 13 quickly, so that I can hopefully one sh at least two shot the freaking bomb me with its little light bulb hat. A chunk. How much XP do you give? You're a little chunky guy. Surely you give 200 XP per la chunk, right? You'll get me all the way to level 13, right? 27. Catterbug. Level 8. Level 8. What am I saying? Learn to read. How did Hop Up survive that? And why is it using Tail Whip? I guess I need to look for Hoppet. They seem to be giving me the most amount of EXP. Level 7 Tarantula. Caught off guard. I, I was running away from me. I'm pretty sure it knew I was there. Maybe it just wasn't expecting me to catch up. I don't know. Anyway, level 12. What do we learn? Bite? A special attacker. The round is just better than tackle anyway. Found an ether. There's a Pachirisu. Let's fight the Pachirisu. Using Thundershock, that's fine. Was I just speed tied with it? Is that. Anyway. I guess maybe I just caught it off guard. Doesn't matter, it's gone. And it's going to take me all the way to level 13. No, it won't, but it did give me a decent amount of EXP. Hop it. 
I need you to burn to a crisp. Because for some reason you give really good XP and the rest of them don't. Just send you out to auto battle. Auto battle the Lechonk. Hop it. Regular battle the Hop it. We want all the XP from the Hop it. Because that's actually worth it. Bite. Consume the hoppet. It is a radish with little leaf wing things. We want to eat it. What a cool Pokemon. Yeah, I know. Fuecoco is pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, you're talking about your... Talking about your Pokemon. Okay then, it's a Choodle. It's a little chewy turtle guy. It is a turtle guy with a giant head that chews on things. Water gun, okay that's fine, that's doing nothing. did that give me? Almost enough. That almost gave me enough. I thought I saw a hop -hip around here. Doesn't matter. Auto battle the Lechonk. Good, we're at level 13 now. Let's get, I mean, we can get more XP. We'll be fine as long as we don't go over level 15 before getting to the gym. to heal up. There we go. Oh, yeah, you, you, you give me an assault vest, right? No, you give me a thunder wave TM. That will not be helpful here. There's a bunch of pop it. Let's auto battle it. Auto battle all of these hop ips. And keep going. There's two left. Okay, maybe we'll level up after, no we won't, we're not going to level up after fighting the grass cat.
We are going to heal up and then start the Nimona battle. Now I am going to one shot the grass cat. I'm going to crit the palmy. I'm not going to lose, and I will be allowed to feel happiness again. If you don't, if you're not sure, then that's all the more reason to give it a shot. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, Nimona. Brigido, Pepper the Third. Going at you with two Pokemon. Okay. Ember on the Grass Cat. It still outspeeds. But it went down in one shot. Okay, that's good. As long as it goes down in one shot. Now we're going to crit the Palmy and take it out in one shot too, right? Battling you is a blast. Think I'd better pull out my ace in the hole. That's fine. And I hope it's fine. Rascalizing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of the Pokemon's Terra type extra power. But it's not going to do over half. Okay, yeah, actually, I think we survived this time. Excellent. I needed that critical hit on the first time, but that, we, we, we get to move on. We, we defeated Nimona, where we can carry on with our run. Pepper the Third gets to survive. Uh, taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. I, I, I don't think we won without problems. Anyway. We got some revives. That's money. Because if our Pokemon faint in battle in this run, then they can't ever be used again. Because they're going to be dead. But I just thought of something. They're already ghosts. How does... Like, like they're already ghosts. Right? So, if they faint, they die. But they're ghosts. So how does that work? Am I just overthinking this? Here's another cutscene that's not skipped by the skip cutscene thing being on. Finally made it. That that is the first true thing you said, Nimona. Dude, OBS is lagging so far behind. Oh, what do you want to see first? Food. 
<laughs> you can't battle with a growling tummy. Like, why, why is battling the first thing you think of? I just enjoy eating food. Food is delicious. Deli bird presents. I mean, I guess. Where is the deli bird presents? Deli, deli, deli. Oh, over there. I'll go ahead and set that as my destination. I want to see if I can get any good items for. Koi Coco to hold. I cannot use healing items or anything like that in battle, but I can give my Pokemon held items. That is going to be... Which one of these is the presents? Neither of them. Over here. Dude, this thing is tucked out of the way, isn't it? Is this it? It... That's not it, is it? Go for broke grill. That's not exactly helpful. Deli Coso, Deli Bird Presents. There's another Deli Bird Presents. Is the map lying to me? Where is this thing? Oh. Maybe it's that store with a deli bird on it. Rotom phone cases. Hmm. I'll come back to that. Right now I want to see if there's any... I mean, there's charcoal. Focus fan. Quick claw. That might be good. I think for now I'll just go for charcoal. Let's see. I'll pick the rose case. It doesn't really matter at all, but I like it. It's nice. And now... Let's go up and do the thing with the people by the place. I need to heal first, I think. Let's just go ahead and heal. Oh yeah, I need to give Pepper the third the charcoal I just bought. So, give an item. 
Wait, where is it? Oh, okay. Uh, how do I get to the... Like this. Dude, I love these little type things here. That's a nice touch. Anyway, up to the school. Hey, it's Cassiopeia. Why are the Team Star members trying to recruit the big boss of Team Star into Team Star as a grunt? Got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members. Um, you know what? I actually like Penny, so I'm going to help her out. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? No. Here I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I mean, that attitude's not gonna... Uh, tell you what, lady, uh, you, you tell me where I can get some shoes like yours and I'll join up. Cause those look way better than these little friggin' loafers that they have me running around in. A shrewdle doodle do. Okay, Ember. And bite. Yep, there we go. Bye, Shrewdle. How come I'm the one seeing stars? I have no idea. Why is a nobody like you? I'm not a nobody. I'm the champion in like eight different regions. Pero bueno. Okay. You don't have to go find randos to battle. Are you Yandere? It, it, female Goku, are you Yandere? You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. And what what gave that away? The the fact that they're not wearing their uniforms right, or the star-shaped goggles on their helmets. Okay, now we have the Terra Orb. That's pretty cool. Anyway, why are they wearing the helmets anyway? Like, what's even? I I don't understand that. Why are they wearing the helmets? Anyway, let's terrorize and ember the young goose. Uh, 
There's a chandelier on Fue Coco's head. I do like the hats. I, I don't think the little animation that plays when you use a Terra boosted move is necessary. But the hats are fun. Uh, you pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. I, I mean, it's basically just throwing the Terra Orb at the Pokemon. I, I don't think it's that difficult of a thing to grasp. I, uh, I just... thanks. <laughs> Dude, Penny has my energy. When are they going to start selling that Eevee backpack? I want that Eevee backpack. That Eevee backpack is really cool. So let's just go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to call this one. I, I would like to get the gym battle in, but I think I'm just going to call it here. So, I'll see you next time. We're making good progress here. Till next time, I am Ichigo90, and I am blasting off again.